Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you guys won't miss any videos. Hey, y'all. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I bleach my knots. And also how I got the wet look on this curl pattern. Now, this hair is from Eva's Hair. And I'll leave that information down in the description box below. This is an 18 inch unit and it is big head friendly because my head is a 22 and a half. But let me just show you guys how this curl pattern looks dry in the back. This hair is completely dry. You can let it air dry if you want to. I didn't air dry mine. I guess you, you know, what well, it just depends. So let's just jump into the video. All right, I'm starting with my Clairol 30 developer and my Clairol bleaching powder. I'm gonna use my mixing bowl and my brush. I'm going to use three scoops of the bleaching powder. But you actually could use two because I had a lot more than I needed. And when I'm using my developer, I don't really measure. I just stir until I get to the consistency that I'm looking for. But don't pour too much, pour slowly. Because you can always pour more, you can't take from it. And you guys, make sure you wear some gloves. I don't know what I was thinking, messing with chemicals and no gloves. All right, now this is the consistency that I'm looking for. I don't want it too runny because if it's too runny, it's gonna run straight through the frontal portion. And I'm gonna flip my wig on the inside out. It does have some glue from a previous install. This wig is old. I purchased this in December from Evil's Wigs and I've been super lazy and I'm just bleaching it. I'm just going to dab that mixture onto the frontal because you don't want to press it into it because if you press it into the frontal it's going to stain it. It's going to bleach the hair through the knot and you're just looking to bleach the knot. So you just want to pat it on there. Pet and drag, just pet and drag. Do light taps. I did just because I had too much. 
But I mean, who's gonna be pardoned all the way over there? That you know, that's not even a portion. That's not even a part of the actual frontal. Well, it is, but I mean, who's gonna part there? And make sure you put the aluminum foil on it. I let it sit for about seven minutes. And then I washed it out. And I used neutralizing shampoo, which is what you want to use after bleaching. You don't want to use regular shampoo. You want to use neutralizing. And this is the conditioner that I use, and I had to go get another bottle. It's still wet, and I'm just using the Nairobi, um, <clears throat> I believe that's how you pronounce it. Mousse setting lotion and I'm just going to keep combing through it All right, now that I've played with the ends, I'm kind of using like a squeeze, push and squeeze method on the curls to kind of help define them, if that makes any sense. Just kind of like holding it in my hand and like squeezing it to help define the curls. And this is how it looks on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.